everyone, I'm Dana and welcome to another princess makeover. Today I'm going to become Ariel. I have a new outfit for Ariel, the kiss the girl outfit. And so um, let's get started. As usual, first I'm going to prime my face. And it's the same recipe every time. Golden Rose CC Color Correcting Primer in green and Makeup Primer Mattifying and Pore Minimizing also from Golden Rose and I'm going to mix these two together. For primer you can actually also just use your hands. But I'm used to doing everything with brushes on my clients. So <laughs> I actually used the um, Complete Coverage brush from Real Techniques. And with this brush, I'm also going to start applying my foundation. And for to foundation today, I'm going to mix Setting Smooth number 27 with uh, Mineral Liquid Makeup uh, number 5, both Golden Rose again. Because it's just my favorite brand and I'm used to working with it for my job. Because in previous videos I saw I've had a lot of redness going on here, so I'm not taking any new foundation but bringing it down a little bit because my dress open here and then I'm going to take a beauty blender from Real Techniques a little bit of fixing spray so it's a little bit damp and I'm going to be tapping it in Now for the brows, um, I was in doubt because a lot of cosplayers do their brows like really red, like the hair, but in the actual movie they are like really thin and black. So I'm going to do like a mix of both. Let's see what we end up with. First I'm going to brush my brows. And then I start, this is not actually a brow liner but a waterproof eyeliner. Really black. Let's a little bit up close to use a tiny mirror and at the top of my brow because I want them really thin Then I have a red lipstick, <laughs> the crayon number 107, and then with a brush, mix in a little bit of red. Let's see what we end up with. So that doesn't actually really do much. <laughs> Maybe I should have used brown instead of black. <laughs> yeah, well, let's, let's just keep them black because the mix doesn't really work. Now to clean them up and hide my brow hairs that I don't want to see. I'm going to be using my liquid concealer in shade 105, again by Golden Rose. And immediately, this is also my eyeshadow primer. So let's get a concealer brush. Thank you. 
Oh shit. <laughs> this can happen people. Don't experiment while filming. Practice first. So I fixed them off camera. <laughs> I did want to do a little bit more red. Didn't end up really thin, but when I do them really thin, I can't really mix the colors. So this is what we have to work with today. Black, red, Ariel brows. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> um, I already did the concealer on my eyelid as an eyeshadow base. And now I'm going to set that in place with translucent powder from the HD High Definition Soft Focus Flawless Finish Line from Golden Rose. 212 Banana. Ah, and it's broken. I need a new one. Now Ariel has like huge eyes. So I'm going to try to make my eyes a little bit bigger. If I can, I'm going to try. Let's see if this video is <laughs> it's going to have some more mistakes. So with a really sharp brush, which I'm molesting, with a brown eyeshadow, I'm using the darkest one from the Golden Rose Long Stay Eyeshadow. What? Why are all these names so long? Quattro Soft and Silky Palette 105. I'm going to draw a small line for my new eyelid. And we're going to blend that later. You do it with your eyes open, you can see, you can see it better where you want your new eyelid to be. Then and then my blending brush with my trusted color 212 from Golden Rose Silky Dutch Matte Eyeshadow Line. It's a super perfect transition color. And then with a smaller brush. I'm going back in to the brown. And immediately take that outer corner with me. And now we're going to cut the crease with concealer and a brush. I want a tiny brush. To have the illusion of a bigger eyelid. In my previous video, we saw drop shots, and I don't know if you can see him, but now Bacardi is sitting on my lap. <laughs> also, wants his five minutes of fame. This is Bacardi, and I know, yeah, we named our cats after alcoholic drinks. <laughs> So now that we have made a bigger eyelid, I'm with my finger from actually this small contour palette from, I think it's from Sleek, yeah, Face Contour Kit, Light 884. I'm going to use the highlighter to dip that over the concealer. And also with a brush. I 
and with a very small brush I actually like to use it's a nose contour brush <laughs> but it's very handy for your brow bone as well now I'm going to make the outer corner just a little bit darker and I have a pretty pretty warm shade in my Urban Decay distortion, so dis distortion palette. I can't show it because there's greens in there, but fuck it. You can see the greens, but this one, maybe a little bit of black in the outer corner. I don't know yet. Let's play with it. into a little bit of a copper color just to blend the light and the dark also from the Urban Decay palette eyeliner <laughs> maybe I have to fix it later I'm going to be using the same one I did for my eyebrows the waterproof eyeliner from Golden Rose and I'm going to make a little wing And going underneath the lash line, connecting it. Oh my god, my hands are so dirty. <laughs> I'll just fix that later. And then for the let me get it. For the top line, I'm going over it with my dip eyeliner, which is liquid. So you see, if I wouldn't have made that, made that fake eyelid, <laughs> I wouldn't see any eyelid at all because the eyeliner is pretty strong in this makeup. foundation there later <laughs> then my lashes of course I'm going to be using fake lashes but um, first I'm going in with my mascara and as usual that will be the false lashes mascara from golden rose And for eyelashes, I've got a very pretty pair from Golden Rose, the 109. No, not one, oh no, just 09. Which are pretty fanned out for Ariel's big eyes. I'm going to be doing this off camera because last time just didn't work. So I'll see you again when I have my lashes on. Well, lashes are on and as always, it was a bit of a struggle. I hate putting lashes on myself, but I think they worked out fine. Uh, these lashes actually come with glue, but it's like dark brown, gray, dark brown glue. 
So if you're not used to putting on eyelashes, probably shouldn't start with this glue because if you mess up, you have spots all over and the glue isn't that easy to fix. Now, while we let that dry, I'm going on with the rest of my face and because I messed up a little bit earlier, First, I'm going to do a little bit of foundation extra. I made a mess. Ah, there it is. And then the concealer, which has red on it. And then first I'm going to set it with the Beauty Blender and Translucent Powder again. And after that I'm going in with my Mineral Powder. Not that one. The light one, number one. I wanted to look in the mirror, but no mirror. <laughs> this one. Yes. Now I'm going to go contouring because I have a <laughs> puffy face and Ariel more heart shaped. So especially here, I've got these like hamster cheeks sticking out. So I want to make this smaller. And I'm using the contour powder from this sleek. Really blending that. And then with a smaller contour brush, I'm going to do a little bit of contouring. Blend everything. Uh, where was my tiny nose brush? Yes, there it is. Now over my contour with a lighter mineral powder, a darker mineral powder, but a lighter color than the contour to mix those. And it's off to blush. Where is my blush? The blush. So for blush, I'm going with my Benacol's Sassy Salmon. I don't use too much for Ariel. She doesn't really actually have rosy cheeks, but like in real life, my face seems to flat. And then today for my highlighter, it, I'm actually using a blush, Terracotta Blush on 107. But I really like it as a highlighter because it's a very light pink. And I'm using, I always forget to mention my brushes, setting brush. And maybe I like to go back into my eyes also with a little bit of this one. Because why not? You can never have enough highlighter. For 
your lips. Mariel has red lips, so you, I've picked up the vibrant red that I previously used on my eyebrows, so let's get the black off. Um, Ariel's upper lip is a little bit small, so I'm going to be inlining. So I can see this is a much brighter red than I used with Snow White. It's almost an orangey red. And this is a matte crayon lipstick, so it's a lip pencil and lipstick. Two in one, so I don't need to use a lip liner first. But I'm going to correct the lines with concealer again. And that's also like a little bit of a lip liner function. Now I'm going back to my eyes. I'm going to be adding a little bit of eyeshadow against the lash line. And I've got red lipstick on my eyebrow brush. Do I have another eyebrow brush? Probably have, but as you're probably used to, I always lose everything. Aha, I have another one. And I think I'm going to use that bronzy color to smoke out my lash line from the Urban Decay palette. First offense. Mm. Now, of course, I'm missing the bright blue eyes. My, my eyes are a little bit of gray blue, but I'm not used to wearing contacts. I want to, so if anyone has a tip for like good, not too expensive color contacts, maybe you can link it for me down below. It's actually the only thing that's missing from my Ariel. Bright blue eyes. <laughs> and now with my Oriflame Ivory Coal Pencil, I'm going into my waterline to make that a bit lighter. And then some mascara again. There it is. Bottom lashes. And a little bit on the top to connect them with the false lashes. And it's also immediately like a little bit of a check. See if they dried well and if they're on there. Good enough. And then, I think I'm happy with it. I don't know, with Ariel, it's such, I, I'm always having trouble to see if I'm already Ariel because the hair is such a big part of it. Of course, the hair is a big part of every Disney princess, but in this case, like I've red brows with blonde hair now. I usually just can tell if I'm happy when I have the wig on and the costume, but I think we're getting there. So I'm going to spray my face with fixing spray, makeup fixing spray from Golden Rose. And I haven't mentioned this before. Of course, it sets your makeup to stay in place all day. But what it also does is like it blends everything together and you don't get a, you don't have really have a powdery finish. So it looks prettier also. I forgot something. Just use my hands, I like to dry it immediately. Well, uh, I'm going to dress up now my wig and my costume and uh, I'll see you guys back. So I'm back, I've put my costume on and I thought it would be fun to show you how I put on my wig on camera because I tried to style it without putting it on, it doesn't really work for me. I like styling it when it's on my head. This wig is from a company called Wig is Fashion and they have so many pretty wigs. <laughs> um, we will link that down below of course. Um, this costume is like partly self-made and 
like self combined. When we first started cosplaying, we just used to buy everything, and now I'm learning to sew and make stuff myself. But still, I have an intimate relationship with my glue gun. So the bow I made myself, but with glue. Everything is glued together. And the skirt, which you will see later, I have, it's a, an existing dress and corset, and I have like a darker blue overskirt. And uh, one of my uh, friend's moms helped me make that. So I'm very proud of it. So uh, the wig. It's a lace front wig. So first, let's put it on. I don't really like using wig caps, I just break my hair. But that's personal. Now, to, before I style it, <laughs> to set my wig in place, I'm going to use glue, mustix extra. It won't move. Actually, these parts because. My natural hairline is showing otherwise. My Ariel has this like super poofy bang fringe thing going on. So, this is my Ariel Kiss the Girl cosplay. And I hope you guys liked this tutorial. And as usual, you can subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell. You can also follow us on our different social medias. And I hope to see you guys soon in another tutorial or vlog maybe. Bye bye.